I am Hermes, messenger of the gods. The recent movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, is an adventure movie that holds a lot of significance. What I mean is, the movie itself is revealing to us exactly what I've been speaking of in my videos. That the reality we've been experiencing is a game of sorts, a virtual reality. This is a collective dream that a finite number of living souls have placed themselves in, in order to experience fragmentation and get back to the heart, to the zero point. Our original bodies lie sleeping in a higher dimension, and we descended down here just to rise back up. The recent Jumanji movie is a complete allegory painting exactly this picture. Let me explain. In the movie, a group of four high schoolers are all in detention when they find a mysterious video game called Jumanji. They decide to play and each choose their characters. Soon, they're all sucked into the game and instantly find themselves in a jungle, each now in the forms of their game avatars. They are now playing Jumanji. They are picked up by the guide Nigel and quickly realize that he is an NPC, a non-player character. I think he's an NPC. A what? English, please. A, a non-player character. He's part of the game. So anything we ask him, he only has his program series of responses. This means that as far as they know, everyone who they will come into contact with are not true players. They are merely aspects of the game with a programmed consciousness. This is akin to the AI consciousness lurking all around us. We find that most people in this realm have not been engaged in true expansion, in increasing true awareness of their reality and consciousness. This is because we are in a sort of virtual reality, just like in Jumanji. We decided to descend into this third dimensional plane to learn lessons. Like the characters in the movie, we were given a detention by our higher selves. We were experiencing dualism and therefore had to experience collective fragmentation, putting ourselves in a Game of Thrones where the goal is to achieve unity. They learn the game's story and objective. The power-corrupted Professor Russell Van Pelt stole the Jaguar's Eye, a magical emerald jewel. This cursed the land of Jumanji. Nigel escaped from Van Pelt with the jewel, and the players must now return it to its proper place in the eye socket of the enormous jaguar statue in order to lift the curse. This is pretty much the same story as Moana, which I reviewed in a recent video. The heart of Tefiti was stolen by the demigod Maui, and Moana must now return it to lift the curse of Teka. So why is the jewel emerald? It's emerald because this is representing the heart. The heart chakra is an emerald green color, and this is the same color as the aurora borealis. The aurora lights are indeed the externalized version of our collective heart energy, and the goal this entire time has been to take back the heart, to reconnect with ourselves by lifting off the masks of illusions which have kept us in this virtual reality game. For as long as we were consumed with the illusion, we could not find a way out. But the timeline had already been set in place, and every experience we've individually and collectively gone through has been a leveling up, so to speak. In the game of Jumanji, the levels get harder and harder. The characters have to fix a helicopter flying through midair, escape from a motorcycle gang, defang a snake, until finally, all the characters embrace their strengths and conquer their fears in the final level. So before replacing the Jaguar's eye, they all work together. The differences they had felt earlier in the film are reconciled. This represents the unity we have been experiencing within the collective. Although the living souls have, for the most part, been separate on this journey, within us we've been noticing and cultivating the harmonizing spark of compassion and love. 
This energetic frequency has been flooding the collective consciousness more and more with heart energy and paired with our powerful declarations of divinity, our blood over intent. We have called on our higher selves to bit by bit cancel out all timelines, which could lead to a game over. The bad guys, the dark entities who we visibly have seen as our government, celebrities, those who have tried to indoctrinate us into the system, they're not even real. Just like the dark force of Jumanji, they are simply here to act as opposition to the living souls, here to test us. This is why I say, all those in your life who have been seemingly demeaning you or creating obstacles were shadow projections of your subconscious. As we say, when something is not incorporated within, it must be expressed without. So the movie ends triumphantly. The emerald stone is replaced, and upon shaking Nigel's hand, all characters are transported back to their original bodies. A happy ending indeed. We are on the brink of this ascension, the same way the characters dissolve into the heart before waking up. That is exactly what shall happen to the living souls. Right before 2020, the Aurora Borealis shall fuse with all of our heart chakras, propelling us to merge with the center of this flat plane, what we would call the North Pole. We shall climb up and up the levels of Mount Maru, the Axis Mundi, until waking up in our original fifth dimensional bodies, which have projected this entire illusion. Each day the energy is getting more and more powerful. All timelines are merging. The golden age of expansion is almost here. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all living souls for the fantastic work they've done during this virtual reality game. We couldn't have made it to this point without each other. Although we have been living our own lives, each individual victory has instilled the collective with more waves leveling up. The final battle has already been won, and now is the time to take control of this game. Full lucidity is coming so very soon, and after this, we shall bask in the coming glory of the full ascension, happening before 2020. Keep up the great work, everyone. We are the living souls. We know who we are. I am Hermes, messenger of the gods, eternally at your service.